haven't charged this thing in forever because I don't really use my multi-tool that much but the battery when I was cutting that little kitchen organizer right on time okay, which one was this okay Ugh. I just got back from a one hour job this job was to task grab it and it was to assemble six Wayfair six Wayfair uh, bar stools. Anyway, just finished a one hour job which was to cut this wooden rod, this narrow one from Home Depot to size and then um, drill two little holes into the kitchen area and so that the client could make this like makeshift curtain rod situation which is quite clever with the little gold hooks that fit the curtain rod fit this rod perfectly you can even call it i think this is called a wood dowel <clears throat> but yeah i don't know why i was just like really nervous about cutting because i had to cut some things for i think i told you this like kitchen organizer thing and it just took such a long time and i didn't feel like i did a nice cut at all i was really nervous to do it but i'm really glad i was able to because it wasn't that hard at all and it didn't take that much time so i also assembled this like metal um bookshelf kind of like rack thing that stands on its own i used earplugs that i had like a package brand new one from uh, a flight that I went on so I used that when I was cutting with the multi-tool and that made all the difference I my ears just they don't hurt at all I just got something crazy in the mail police oh my gosh I, I was just I went to go get drinks with my friend Bella a while back and I took a box cutter with me like it's a pop pretty touristy area but there's a lot of like kind of crazy people out there so walking back to my car was like maybe just half a block or something anyway I took my box cutter in my back pocket just in case because I had work that day and uh, she was telling me how she had a taser oh my god what is this Move the safety oh, look at the bottom of the unit into on position. Activate the oh it's a stun gun. What? I'm confused. Okay, there's the light. How do I use it though? Oh, is this it? which was to remove this old faucet fixture, everything. So the handles, the faucet, and the, the, the waste underneath the basin. Holy crap, I, that must have been there for like 30 years or something because everything was so crusty and I could not loosen the nut on the, the hot water handle side. I was able to do it on the left side and got it got it out, but in the process of getting it out, I was like t doing it, I was trying to like loosen any nut that I could. And in the process of um, loosening the top part, <laughs> I like broke the, the copper pipe going into the faucet from the cold water anyway. So I was able to get all the three parts out but the waste pipe is held up by the most narrowest freaking metal nut and i'm so afraid that i'm not going to be able to get that out only reason why i left without installing the brand new one and i stopped right there was because the 
the client has a plumber. I'm not sure why she didn't ask the plumber to do this, but the plumber, she asked the plumber, oh, what kind of faucet do I need to get for the existing uh, faucet that I have? And he recommended her this particular one. And even though the diameter would, you know, accommodate this new one, it didn't fit because the back where the tile wall starts and where the hole for the faucet is on the sink basin is so small, so narrow that the new one can't comfortably sit on there. So anyway, it wasn't gonna work with this new one. I think she's gonna have to return the entire set. So I told her, I like measured everything and I took photos and I just told her I'll, I'll look for it and then whatever. But now what I'm worried about is removing that freaking rusted up metal nut. I saw one video on YouTube that had the exact same waist, uh, waist pipe and they didn't even take it off on the video. They were just uh, explaining, oh, I wanna use a sink basin. They removed the sink basin or, you know, the actual, I guess, the actual lavatory from the wall and ha had it flipped over for, you know, to show the, to show what, how it works and everything. But they actually didn't show that they got it out, if they even did in the video. So they did suggest putting some kind of lubricant. Um, so I'm gonna put some like WD-40 when I go back and she finds out what, she, like she find, figure, yeah, she orders a new faucet that will fit there. But yeah, if anybody has any tips on how to remove that freaking rusted up nut, let me know. Cause I tried it with my channel locks and I think it does fit, I think it did fit parallel so freaking tight on there I'm so afraid that I won't be able to take it out so that was um, my nine o'clock job and then I had a uh, three o'clock job which was kind of close by look how freaking dirty I got I actually washed it with um, some expired eye drops that I had and I was like I wonder if this will help leave bleach it a little bit and then some water it's still kind of light brown from all the rust that I got from underneath the sink basin but you know it, it was fine it, it looks a lot better than it was before the last job that I had was to hang a bunch of pictures everywhere for a client's senior living father and that was fine she just laid all the portraits where it's supposed to go and you know, it was pretty self-explanatory. And then um, put up, assemble like this TV stand, put together this like pet kit water filtration system, which was already put together. I just had to take off some of the packaging and plug it in to see if it works, it does. Okay, so the last part for this job was to hook the VHS player to the TV so you can watch your VHS cassette tapes on the TV. And I was somehow able to figure it out, but now I can't put back the cable on the TV, which she was able to do. So I told the daughter that, she said she will be able to call Spectrum and figure that out. The other things that I did for this client, for my first client today, was to expand the doorknob holes on, that had vintage doorknobs, expand it to a two and one eighth, I think, uh, two and one eighth more so that it could have brand new doorknobs and then which was really easy to do because of that Ryobi jig that I have that I purchased like quite a while ago and one last thing which is the first part that I did for the first job was to was to replace a corky fill valve with a fluid master woke up this morning have a bunch of stuff I have to do. So I started making the gruel with the broth from last week's hot pot. There's three eggs in here and it looks amazing. So I ate a bunch of that gruel that I made and I'm taking a day off today because yesterday was a big job and 
anyway i just want today's sunday off but yeah those are the jobs that i went on the last couple of days if anyone has any tips on loosening that tiny narrow rusted up nut underneath the sink basin please leave it in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video peace